Hi guys, this is your reading for Friday the 7th of August 2015. Thanks for joining me. It's always a pleasure to be with you. So let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. Okay, is that focused? Yep, good. Okay, so two upright and one reversed. Reversed card is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is someone who's trapped in a physical sense, but he's also trapped in a um, spiritual sense because his thoughts are not free. You can put someone in prison, but if you, you can't chain up someone's soul, can you? You can't chain up someone's spirit. So even if you incarcerate someone, you can never take their spiritual freedom from them. This is in reverse, which means that you are spiritually free. I think the work you did yesterday has been really helpful. Um, and nothing negative is affecting you. The next card is the Justice card, which is quite grim in this deck here. Um, and justice is about cause and effect. It's about what you put in, you get out. It's very karmic. So because you're spiritually free, you're going to have the ability to manifest the things that you want. So you're very clear about certain things. You know, you see the truth of things. And when you see the truth of things and there's no kind of clutter in your mind, then it is you can manifest. So think about what it is you love. What do you want to manifest? Do you want to manifest a better career? Do you want to manifest better relationships with your family? Do you want to manifest that dream, that, that love of your life, the dream partner, the one you've been longing for your whole life? Have a think about that and really spend a couple of minutes manifesting that. Close your eyes, sit back and say, I want a perfect relationship with my family and then see what that would look like in your mind's eye and then see yourself at um, a picnic and people laughing and hugging and supporting each other when times are tough and f allow yourself to fantasize and allow yourself to see that in your mind's eye and then allow a feeling of real joy and bliss to bubble up in you and then infuse that image with the joy that you feel. And then kind of send that out into the universe, either put it in a bubble or just let it go or let it drift away gently. And then know that that is out there for you somewhere. And just knowing that it's out there for you, that you've planted that seed in the universe, it's very likely that it will manifest. That's the way it works. And then trust that it will. It's a beautiful process. Eight. Six, seven, eight. Eight and eight is 16. And then we've got 6, which is 22. And 22 is a master number. And it's about the builder. It's about creating the relationships that you want in your life. So do manifest. You can create something amazing in your life today. And 22, I hardly ever get that master number. And it's the theme of the builder. So really use your ability to build. Because all of our lives are affected by what we put into them. You know, if my focus is on smoking cigarettes all day long, then that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have lots of cigarettes in my life. If I'm focused on really um, finding my life purpose, then that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to find my life purpose because whatever you focus on gets bigger. There's no way around it. It's a law of the universe. <laughs> okay, so have a really fabulous Friday. I, I'm excited about this day. I'm going to make a wish list and send it out into the universe because I really think these times of... Um, manifestation of fantastic have a great day um, if you'd like a private reading with me please get in touch via the website it's gregoryscott.com and remember to subscribe to the channel